Hi everyone, welcome to our tour of Washington DC. I'm Jose, exploring the monuments dedicated to some of America's most historical figures. On this tour, we'll walk across the National Mall from the Washington Monument to the Lincoln Memorial to learn more about these structures that have become the identity of the city. So let's go on tour and explore the historical monuments of Washington, D.C. The capital city of Washington, D.C., the main city to America's government institutions, like the U.S. Capitol Building, the meeting place for the United States Congress, and the President's Office, the White House. It's also home to endless historical museums, legendary memorials, and monuments dedicated to the people who shaped this country's identity. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. The legend behind Lincoln comes from his leadership during some of the most turbulent moments of the country's history. Lincoln led the Union to reunite the Confederate states of a divided country. Lincoln also turned the wheel in abolishing slavery as one of the key drivers of the Civil War. Welcome to the iconic Lincoln Memorial a neoclassical temple dedicated to one of America's most famous presidents, Abraham Lincoln. It's one of DC's most popular attractions where you'll find yourself mixed in with a crowd comprised of people from all over the world. The temple was constructed in 1922 with a design inspired by the Parthenon of Athens, Greece. And inside the temple, we had the giant statue of Abraham Lincoln. As I walk closer towards the memorial, I'm left astonished by the sheer beauty of this statue and also the representation of a great leader. When we stroll around the temple, we pivot through the giant columns to find ourselves reading Lincoln's famous Gettysburg Address, the words that became American legend to sow a divided nation. There are a total of 36 columns around the temple, representing the number of states at the time of Lincoln's death. And the Lincoln statue sits in the center of the chamber at 19 feet tall. If Lincoln had been standing, the statue would have been 28 foot tall. In the next chamber, we have an inscription of Lincoln's second inaugural address, a speech of sadness, taking inspiration from the Bible with a conversation around slavery, civil war, and the ideals of both Union and Confederate territories. The Lincoln Memorial sits on the opposite end of the National Mall, where we see the reflecting pool leading up to the Washington Monument and the U.S. Capitol on the other end. And no matter the time of day you come for a visit, the memorial is active as one of America's bucket list attractions. America's history has seen its ups and downs, and just like many other countries, we've left an imprint on the world's journal of war. As we walk along the National Mall, we see the memories of conflict. Near the Lincoln Memorial, the veterans of the Korean War are replicated in battle stands, commemorating the sacrifices of the millions who served in the war. 
and the three servicemen at the gates of the Vietnam Memorial, representing the new identity of veterans in America with African, European, and Latino Americans. The Vietnam Memorial is written in black granite, honoring the armed forces who fought in the war, with two walls stretching 246 feet they contain the names of the service members in the armed forces. So if you guys read throughout the names, there are different markings. These are the ones that were killed in action and the bodies were recovered. And some of the markings have the ones that the bodies were never recovered, you know, with the hope that the person's still out there. So you'll see the little crosses in, in some of the names. And at the very end of this display is the Vietnam Women's Memorial, a statue dedicated to the support members of the armed forces with a nurse holding a wounded soldier, the silent and unsung heroes of war. The heavy winds and clouds represent the tragic emotions of the war memorials. Across the Potomac Park is a memorial designed with the Roman Pantheon inspiration, the memorial of the founding father, Thomas Jefferson. Walking inside the Jefferson Memorial feels like entering a shrine where the light is dimly lit and we're illuminated by the sunlight crossing the columns of the memorial. Thomas Jefferson the third American president and founding father of the United States. Jefferson was also called the author of the Declaration of Independence, becoming one of the most influential leaders in the history of America. The statue of Thomas Jefferson stands at 19 feet tall, containing 10,000 pounds of bronze. Jefferson was the third president of the United States, a founding father and the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. As I circle the statue, I have the same admiration for Jefferson as President Franklin D. Roosevelt. FDR was an admirer of Jefferson's work and under his presidency commissioned this memorial. The Jefferson Memorial contains inscriptions and excerpts from the Declaration of Independence and the dome above contains a famous Jefferson quote, I have sworn upon the altar of God, eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Let's visit other notable figures in American history, starting with George Mason. Mason led Virginia's Patriots during the American Revolution and became famous for penning the Bill of Rights, sharing his own ideas for the Declaration of Independence. Mason was a critic of the U.S. Constitution, firmly believing that the success of a nation depended on the happiness of its people. His argument for individual rights led to the revision and solidification of the Constitution. This bronze statue across the Lincoln Memorial is one of the most famous characters when it comes to history, the genius and mathematician Albert Einstein. Einstein is depicted sitting with manuscripts in hand. And I zone in for a closer look at the memorial, thinking of his famous equation, E equals mc squared, the explanation of relationship between mass and energy. This equation made the atomic bomb possible, ending the conflict of World War II. But at the edges of DC and Virginia is an island dedicated to the valiant Theodore Roosevelt.
the famous Teddy Roosevelt. This memorial is a little bit farther to get to since it's right outside of the National Mall. Teddy was one of the youngest presidents in American history and also a pop culture sensation engaging in so many fascinating adventures. Roosevelt also wanted to expand trade by focusing on the construction of the Panama Canal. The towering statue of an American president, most commonly known as a well-learned man. Teddy was involved in a multitude of different career paths, giving him a cult-like status among historians. Politician, conservationist, naturalist, statesman, historian, and writer can all be credited to this legendary leader, the Rough Rider, the man with the big stick policy. Teddy Roosevelt became the president most famous for his aggressive foreign policy. The Theodore Roosevelt statue stands at 17 feet tall, surrounded by granite tablets inscribed with famous Roosevelt philosophy. During his presidency, Teddy won a Nobel Peace Prize, ending several conflicts across the world, including the Japanese-Russo War, the conflicts of Dominican Republic, Venezuela, and Morocco. While Teddy secured America's expansion, we have another American leader who fought for inclusion, Martin Luther King Jr. and the beautiful memorial at the West Potomac Park. Martin Luther King Jr. is the face of America's civil rights movement. And this stunning 30-foot structure is a beautiful homage and inspiration to all American citizens. A dream realized as visitors of all color come to pay their respects. Washington, D.C. contains the compelling story of America, stretched out across museums, monuments, memorials, and political institutions. And as we circle back towards Lincoln's temple, we stop at the World War II memorial to reflect on the tragedies and struggles that built the character of a nation. At the end of our travels, we come across a memorial dedicated to the longest serving president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The president who served during the Great Depression created the social security system, the national minimum wage, and was a leader of the coalition during World War II. The memorial begins with a fireside chat and statues of the Great Depression, containing quotes of America's wealth and equality. This memorial is comprised of four rooms covering the different eras of FDR's four presidential terms. FDR was a beloved leader, ranking in the top five presidents of America's history. In this room, we have the inscriptions of war, leading Americans during the bombing of Pearl Harbor. But Roosevelt also suffered from polio, and in this statue, He's covering his disability next to his Scottish Terrier, Fala. FDR covered his disability throughout his presidency as it showed a sign of weakness and instability. But his disability didn't deter him from being a powerful leader. In our final room, we have the controversial statue that was later added to the memorial an illness that gave him a new strength and courage to master patience and persistence. America is filled with so many interesting stories and Washington's monuments take us through a journey to reflect on the country's biographies with so many characters and figures who jump out of the American pages, they change the course of history. This is Jose for On Tour. If you like what you've seen today and want to continue supporting the page, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share. If you'd like to know more about the places I've been to, 
please see the links below. Until next time.